Sal and I are stuck in the middle of the desert. Yeah. We're here at the Mesquite Sand Dunes. It's absolutely incredible. And it is a walk. But I've done 32 steps, 32 days of 10,000 steps in a row. Sal is having a hard time keeping up with me. <laughs> no, it's just the sand and I'm a bit mm -hmm. scared of snakes. No, she's having a hard time. Anyway, um, and she's scared of vipers. I keep telling her vipers don't live here in, <laughs> in Death Valley. Here. Who lives here? Ghosts. Anyway, so we're gonna keep stepping. Come on, Mama Mia, you got this. <laughs> I've never been able to do a walk like this in my life. Hip surgery combined with rehabbing myself and getting out here and being able to live and do what I wanna do is absolutely incredible and it's changing my life in every single way possible. How you doing, Shalini? <laughs> live your dreams, my friends. And when you're an old man like me, you can see the model <laughs> way in the background. That's called progress. How you doing, Mama Mia? I think she might kill me when we're done with this. I'm proud of you, Shawnee. That is a very long way. <laughs> How much do you hate me? A lot. <laughs> I thought so. In Shawnee's defense, <laughs> I did not think we would walk nearly this far. When you see the shot, you'll, you'll love me again. Yep. <laughs> All right, let's do this. In this video, I'm gonna show you images and footage from three shoots that I did at one of my favorite places to shoot on Earth, Death Valley National Park. The first shoot was done at the Mesquite Sand Dunes, which are pretty amazing, not only for its location, but for the sheer size and majesty of these beautiful sand dunes. This really was quite a trek out here to the dunes. I kept going and going because I wanted to be just desolate out there, away from any other hikers and footprints, which meant we really had to walk a long ways to get to our final shoot location. Because of this long journey, carrying a minimal amount of gear was vital to pulling this off. I didn't want to bring my backpack full of gear as I already had enough bringing the flash, the video camera, and the tripod. So I chose to bring the Sony a6500 with the Tamron 17-70mm lens, which ended up being a phenomenal combo because I could shoot both tight and wide with the same lens. And when you pair the a6500 on the Tamron 17-70, it really is a very easy to carry, incredibly light kit. It actually reminded me of shooting in my earlier days with Sony where the smaller bodies and lenses that I used to carry around made it easier for me to shoot in more remote destinations when it's just me and I have no crew to help. For lighting, I used a single strobe and just placed it right in the sand. And the image quality on that camera and lens is phenomenal. I couldn't be happier with the results. It was the perfect kit for this shoot. Shoot number two is at Dante's View, which is about 60 miles from the sand dunes. Another incredible location inside of Death Valley National Park. I'm getting pummeled by the wind, but we are here at the Dante's View. It's incredible. The shots are ridiculous. But Shalani is freezing. I know. It's so cold out here. We're like way above sea level. This set was done with a Sony A9 using the Sigma 20mm art lens. I wanted something a little wider and the Sigma was perfect for it. These were done at golden hour with a very heavy wind blowing. But it really added to the drama of the shots. The colors were popping and Shalani slayed it awesome set. The last set was done at Devil's Golf Course with an incredible sunset. I had Shalini stand in front of the sun to rim light her and then using flash for my key light we created some truly dramatic images in a very epic place. If you guys haven't shot a Devil's Golf Course before 
do it. It's incredible. We just wrapped up the shoot. Shalini is worried about vipers. I keep telling her there's no such thing as vipers in Death Valley, but she doesn't believe me. Um, but we had a great time, right? Yeah. She says, thanks for bringing me to my death. Yeah, he pushed me to my death. And I'm like so thankful to you. And now I know my limit. There, where do we have to walk to get back? All the way to New York. That's what she said to me when I wrapped the shoot. She goes, great. Now all we have to do is... Now, now all we have to do is walk back to New York. For me to be able to come out here today and to walk all this is a game changer. And she'll tell you, my ankle was really hurting this morning. I thought he's just gonna make it like a little bit. He said just, yeah, that sand, that peak, that peak. And we were like all the way to almost two miles. <laughs> my God. So you wanted to complete your 10,000 step? <laughs> Why, I was so... <laughs> no, no, no. <laughs> No, I, I know I'm not trying to get my 10,000 steps in right now. I'm making the point that if I wasn't doing the 10,000 steps a day, I never would have made it out here. Yeah. But no, we've, we've done a lot of steps. Let me see how many steps we've done today. We've done 5,000 steps out here, so that's a couple miles. My God, yeah. So now we just gotta walk back, you ready? She didn't like me on this shoot too much, but she'll love the pictures. <laughs> no, I really she like kept him. Looking at He's such an incredible photographer. <laughs> Show with the A6500 with the Tamron 17 to 70 lens. It's an amazing lens. What an incredible little kit to come out here and pull off a shoot. I mean, I didn't walk out here with a backpack or anything and just an incredible uh, camera and lens to be able to create work and it's stunning. That uh, Tamron 17 to 70, which is a full frame equivalent of a 25 to 105 F2.8, just insane. It's, it's a beautiful lens, so I was really happy to be able to use that. Uh, you can find me on Instagram, Shalini Atin underscore Shravastav. Are you gonna post that? I'll post it because no one knows, nobody's gonna yeah, that's have any there. clue how to spell there. that. Here. It's here. Okay, right it's right here. across her yeah. eyes. Yeah, it's here. I'm gonna put it right here. It's gonna go right here. <laughs> so. Let them watch my pretty face. <laughs> no, I'm gonna cover your face with it. I am. So uh, until next time, guys, keep shooting. Never give up on your dreams. Find out gear that works for you. And remember, uh, oh. this is your, <laughs> you this is your part. <laughs> She's out of breath. I'm in better shape than she is. You get only one chance nope. to get it right. Huh? You have only one chance. Oh, you have only one chance to get it right. That's right, guys. We love you. We'll talk to you later. I've practiced this like so many times. So, but yesterday. Oh, all right. No, but you practiced it a lot, but you didn't get Is it. Is it still rolling? Yeah. You only have one chance to get it right. You only have one chance. Uh, oh, you only have one chance to make it right. Oh, oh to get God. it right. Shalini, come you on. Are you serious? <laughs> you have only no. one. No. <laughs> you only have one chance to get it right. There you go. Damn. Woo! <laughs> sand's gotten to her. We have sand, I have sand in places on me I didn't know existed. So, incredible place, Death Valley Mesquite Sand Dunes, incredible place to shoot. Can't yep. wait to get back. And uh, we love you guys. So, uh, talk to you guys later. Peace. Never ever give up on your dreams and remember when you feel like quitting just keep taking that next step i hate walking every day but i love this moments like this when i get to live <laughs>